welcome to another Houdini tutorial. Today we are going to make digital pattern. For this we are going to use trace node and a digital image of circuit. So for this we are going to create a geometry node. Then create this trace node and in this file section use digital image which is this one give it a second it will create all these digital patterns then go to filters and use remove borders to remove all the borders you can either increase or decrease the structure depending on you need I am using this like 0.3 then this transform and transform it to 90 so that it lays flat like use 90 degree and then for these path to be animated use car node car node will decide how to and how to create these paths so just add car node now these are paths so if you decrease or increase this value you can see these paths are if I open this point, you can now see these are moving. But because these are separate paths, so they are not moving as we wanted. So we are going to join this path. So use join node. When you will join, then it will use these then use only connected node so now you can see this car node is working properly ok you can animate this pattern or you can animate these values ok so like go from higher to lower so when you play it it will like animate like this then just save this file uh, sometime when you save this file it will lose the path just recall it then for pattern like distal shape or distal like extruded path use poly extrude node from this section use poly extrude node from this node and you can extrude this to distance like this it will create this distal kind of pattern so not too much use smaller values or you can use a little lower like this and use normal node to unify all the normals see now all the normals are unified and you can use this output back face so it will like cover these all ok now for 
the board part may use another grid object so go to all use grid and merge all these symmetries this one this one this one and use null node and use like small one by one so it will remove this and because we are using here normal so it is using this so use another normal okay so now you got all these patterns so this is like little bit lower than this section so just raise this section by using transform go very little much like 0 0.05 0 0.05 is too much yeah i think this is enough and if you want click Now you can use material node for different sections. So just you create this V-Ray or any material you want. You can use Pantra also. I'm using V-Ray because it can render faster than Mantra. Then create materials. use materials like I'm using light material then one I'm using normal material which is can use any of these like polished kind of material silver blurry or polished for this metal and this is for wires and I can use one more for this grid also and for now I am using like this go to geometry section add material node make one here one here and one here ok for this I am using that blurry material which is this one for this I am using light material and for this let me just use again this same blurry material or we can change this then create new camera so that you can arrange according to you your pattern okay so control s and this let me set up for basic render um, okay now render is ready for so let's check this okay. now you can see it is rendering but these are like very long thickness so what we can do here uh, let me just lower this resolution So this is renting but it's not it's ending very long this pattern. So 
what we can do here either you can use at this wire section attribute wrangle and use at width tell you I think th equal to 0 0.005 so now we render it. this will lower the size of these wires I think it is slightly like a decrease too much so you can use like little bit more like 0.08 can just go a little 0 0.06 let me just zoom in the camera a little bit so that you can see or if I go to this part then it has more lighting area see now you can see all these lines Okay. and if you want lower thin line just lower this number it will thick. shrink these lines okay. and because this is animating you can always create and uh, you can use like bluish kind of color this And use direct illumination so it will illuminate this thing and or I just use higher values it will light up scene I can use a little bit more threshold see and for like board I can use another video material and for this I can use any of this porcelain kind of material and that PCB board is like of dark green kind of color this kind of so this this kind of color and reflection is supposed to be white Okay, and it's use little lower values and you can apply this to grid this one for separate option See. now you can use this one or if you not able to see your wires properly you can always use polywire to control the thickness of the wire okay so if we are using poly wire you can use this poly wire also and this one use lower numbers Let's see now you can see properly See now it has very thin and use normal also. Okay, 
now you can see it is more distinct pattern So this is like simple pattern you can create and for further detail you can add like small smaller IC objects, integrated circuits, capacitors, resistors to get give it a more detail. I have used various different objects for this so that it can be seen but if you like look at this whole section You can create various digital patterns by using only trace node. So you can render this sequence out and that will be your like, final output. You can add, always adjust lighting, material reflection for better quality. We will meet in next tutorial. Thank you.